It feels like yesterday when we were all excited, waiting for the first 360 degree hinge system on a laptop. But here we are, years later, already presenting the seventh generation of the Yoga laptops. This spring, Lenovo Yoga 9i arrives prettier than ever with a modern look that makes it even more convenient to carry and use on the go. Yoga Series has grown quite a reputation among users as a versatile portable PC, able to switch its functionality on the fly, which makes it practically irreplaceable for many of its users. It feels as if they timed the release of the new Yoga laptop with the start of springtime when everyone starts going out more often and I have to say it's noticeably different than its predecessor and luckily for the better. You will immediately notice a different design so instead of the usual laptop shape with rotating hinges, this device comes with softer lines, rounded edges and overall more interesting and ultimately more practical shape for carrying around. Sharp transitions and edges are gone now and everything looks softer and gives a much nicer feel in the hand. Plus, when you switch it to tablet mode, now it actually looks like one, both functionally and visually. On top of that, it still manages to stand out even as a laptop among other 2-in-1 laptops. So whether you're a fan of this rounded design or not, it definitely still brings something new to the table. And it's not just the design that got a refresh. The screen of a 2-in-1 laptop is a critical part that determines the overall impressions of the device. Lenovo, however, really went all out, especially with the model on our review, as it comes with a 16x10 ultra-high 4K resolution screen, going even above that with 3840x240 pixels, which is a really a lot considering its small 14-inch screen. Best of all, it's an OLED type screen with gorgeous colors and 360 to 400 nit brightness, which combined with 100% DCI-P3 color gamut coverage results in an image like what you're used to seeing on some high-end smartphones, but this time with a much larger screen size and visible surface. Also, let's not forget that the screen is touch sensitive, so you can use the device without using your mouse and keyboard. By the way, this Yoga model comes with the Precision Pen 2, which unfortunately got lost on its way to our studio, so we didn't get the chance to test it out. The phenomenal screen fits perfectly into the Yoga concept, and it's great for using applications and viewing multimedia and web content, which is what Yoga devices are mainly designed to do. Color display is vivid and enhanced by excellent contrast, but there is a lot of glazure to the glossy coating, which can be problematic at times on a very sunny day and when using the device outdoors. Hiding in the shade helps, especially since Yoga 9i has an above average brightness for an OLED screen. Now, of course, the screen can be adjusted and placed at a certain angle, so it can serve as a classic laptop or a tablet, or you can even use it in the so-called tent mode. Thanks to its metal housing and its famous hinges, Yoga 9i gives a sense of safety when performing acrobatics with its screen, so you don't have to worry about being gentle and slowly flipping it around. The webcam, which is now captured in higher Full HD resolution, has also been improved, as well as the infrared sensor for face recognition and support for Windows Hello security feature. The obligatory lens shutter has not been left out, as it's in tradition with Lenovo models. Besides all that, there is also Lenovo's own webcam software, so the quality of video communication has really been raised to a higher level. Luckily, Lenovo also didn't neglect the sound features of its new model. Better yet, they have improved them significantly. The sound system was designed by none other than Bowers and Wilkins and stands out because it uses four speakers. A pair in the standard position of the side edges towards the front and below the perforations of the base under the laptop to give the sounds a spatial dimension while the remaining pair is integrated in the hinge which undoubtedly helps with using the tablet in tent mode. It sounds great and produces a warm and unusually rich sound for this type of device. So it's a real pleasure to listen to some slow blues and jazz in the background while working on your boring day-to-day -day tasks. It is also a real pleasure while watching movies or some fun multimedia content. 
Its fast performance is provided by the latest 12th generation Intel Core mobile platform, the Alder Lake i7 1260P model with an average consumption of 28 watts, although it can pull as much as 64 watts in turbo mode when individual cores reach 4.7 GHz. The processor has hybrid architecture with four high-performance cores and eight energy-efficient cores, so a total of 12 cores that execute 16 threads simultaneously. I have to emphasize the efficient cores do not support hyper-threading, however. The processor and integrated Intel XE graphics core with 96 executable units have 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5 with 5200 mega transfers per second. The fast M.2 PCIe X4 SSD with a capacity of 1 terabyte is in charge of the data storage, which has already become a standard on all modern laptops and one of the key factors of fast feeling while working on a platform that is still weaker than equivalent desktop hardware. Now the subjective difference in actual use is almost gone and feels as fast as a desktop device. Since this is a ultra portable computer, it only features a wireless Wi-Fi 6E network connection with the latest and fastest 802.11ax standard and additional frequency range of 160 MHz. It also supports Bluetooth 5.2 which will mainly be used for connecting wireless peripherals. The keyboard once again proved to be realistically the best in this class, since Lenovo has set high standards and made a real challenge to other manufacturers. It is easy to get used to something good, but only after trying several different keyboards of the same quality, I came to a realization of how good this keyboard actually is, with its finely tuned resistance and perfect tactile feedback when typing with white LED illuminated keys. Plus, this Yoga also has a row of additional keys where you would expect the numpad to be with a single click function. There are buttons for quick operating mode switch, activating the webcam and appropriate Lenovo software, switching sound profiles for listening to music, watching movies or playing games, and finally choosing the day or night theme of the Windows interface. Excellent keyboard is complemented with a huge touchpad which has an effective surface like a smartphone measured at 130 times 80 millimeters. It honestly feels like a glass surface which is a trend with recent devices, so the finger slides without any resistance and the surface is super nice. Left and right keys are seamlessly integrated into the bottom of the touchpad though I personally don't like the feel of the click too much. The new Yoga mainly relies on the fast USB-C ports when it comes to connecting to other devices. There are three ports on both sides of the device, two of those support Thunderbolt 4. Of course, there is also a power delivery function to charge other mobile devices and the ability to connect monitors via DisplayPort adapters. These are ultra-fast ports with a transfer rate of up to 20 gigabits per second. I measured the performance of the second generation USB 3.2, i.e. 10 gigabits per second, although the manufacturer claims that depending on the situation, the maximum transfer is less than 20 gigabytes per second, which in some indirect way suggests that this is a USB 3.2 2x2 performance. The Yoga 9i model is powered by a 4-cell polymer battery with a capacity of 75 watt-hours, almost like a heavyweight gaming laptop. A 100-watt USB-C charger with support for the fast charging function charges 20% of the battery in about 15 minutes. You can expect full capacity after just over 2 hours of constant charging. Given the energy-efficient platform, battery life should cover the day of a moderate use. However, in our test we recorded 4 hours and 5 minutes of battery life. The brightness level of the OLED screen directly dictates at what rate it will deplete the battery. Now also, I have to emphasize that Yoga 9i was a prototype device, since it is so exclusive that you can hardly find an article on the net about the new version of the device, so please take this into account when analyzing performance results. They will certainly be better on the release model intended for the end-user market. However, even what we have was enough for us to get a preliminary impression of the performance of the new Yoga.
If you compare the performance in the median demanding notebook tasks involving the use of Photoshop Elements 2020 for photo processing, Espresso 7.5 video conversion, and audio processing in Audacity, you will see that in this beta phase of the platform, Mobile Alder Lake lags behind the Rocket Lake i7 1195G7 model, which is also in the same energy efficient category with an average of 28 watts, 4 cores and 8 threads, so the effect of additional energy cores is practically lost. Now, I have to reiterate myself and mention that this is a test prototype device that will get better BIOS optimization, and we should expect better performance. However, I can't hide my disappointment that the new Intel platform, which has been talked about and promised a lot, has not shown any significant progress compared to its predecessor, even in this beta version. On the other hand, Office showed improved performance of Alder Lake processor in board and PowerPoint tests, but also 10% worse results in Excel. As expected, it is faster when using Adobe Photoshop and Premiere. So that puts the beta version somewhere close to the previous model, but we can already see a 10% performance gain once the BIOS gets tweaked so the apps can use the full power of the processor cores. And when it comes to day-to-day -day use, the new Yoga looks nicer and definitely more attractive to the eye, as well as to the touch. Sophisticated, soft and rounded, it looks more like a mobile device than a computer, but you definitely need to have a firmer grip. Considering the metal appearance with complex hinges, it has a respectable weight of almost 1.5 kilograms, with its 15.25 millimeter height, width standing at 318 millimeters, and depth of 230 millimeters. So expect to hug it more rather than hold it in one hand like a tablet. Overall, good features we've seen on previous generations of Yoga have been kept improved and refined in fine details, which makes Yoga 9i noticeably better and more interesting than its predecessors. That is why many supporters and users of the Yoga brand should definitely consider upgrading to a more modern and better 7th generation version. On the other hand, new users will be pleasantly surprised by the possibilities of the new Yoga, and we especially enjoy the tent mode with a combination of great screen and equally good sound. Now, the price of the new Yoga 9i model starts around 1800 models and this particular model we got on our test costs just over 2000 euros or roughly 2200 US dollars. Thank you all for watching the Bench House review of the latest Yoga 9i model. My name is Marco and I will see you next time.